Hello everyone, Silent here, and welcome back to another truly Bedrock live stream here on Twitch. How are you guys doing tonight? Hopefully you're doing just fine. We are going to be playing on TB as we usually do. And we are designing and building ourselves finally a sword system for all of our farms at the Mega Farming area. I don't know what to call it. We need a name. Our industrial center. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Musically stream. There's music in the background. Uh, let me know how I sound, if I sound any different than normal, because, uh, as I said at the end of yesterday's video, my cloud lifter broke, and that's basically a thing that makes me 25 decibels louder, so I had to go ahead and change all my audio settings to, uh, get back to the same volume, and hopefully there's no, like, white noise or crackling or static or any garbage like that. Uh, let's see, we got Kaz being the very first person here. Congrats. We also got Hani and Liz, Stone and Connie, along with iHearts and Inspector, Lord Vader Hughes and Glosser Falcon, and Kill, along with Mel and Shep, and Harper, Breb, Tentative, and Liz. We also got... Who else we got here? Talamus. Hello. Corvonic. Burning Paper Giant. Banana Sheep. Blue and Brainless, along with Beast. Rube. Blue Brainless Beast. There you go. Say that 12 times fast. We got Jiliana and BT. Hello, everyone. Lord Jar Jar as well. Let's hop into the, the game, shall we? Actually, it's going to be a whole another minute before we can join the server. Because it just takes forever to join the server, doesn't it? Also, did you guys hear the exciting new news today? We have new staff members in the community. We added 10 new people to the staff teams. We got new event planners, new build team members, new moderators. Well, junior mods. But they'll, they'll be moderators eventually. Once we've tortured them. I mean, trained them. Yes. Yes. There's one of them now. <laughs> we got minecart sounds. Is this the place that we want to be? It is. Where's my hand? Oh, I'm invisible. That's right. I'm invisible. Let's see about this. So, we have shulkers over here still, right? Nothing's happened to them. Nothing's happened to them. Good. I haven't been on here in a couple days since we did that no torture please yeah you'll be fine builds character builds character chat feels weird what's weird there's nothing weird sell the new color people yes the rural colors are quite nice no one's seen the light blue in the the chat for many a many a year it's been a while since we've had new helpers since like you know last time we had a new staff which was Basically a year ago. Basically, we add new staff every January, essentially. That's, that's pretty much what it is. Anyway, so as you might be aware, this is our farming area of farms. I, again, I don't have a good name for it yet. We need to work on a name. And we got ourselves Drown Farm, Pigman Farm, uh, Squid Fish Farm. We also got the Phantom Farm around the edges and the Hostile Mob Farm, which is down here under the water. We need to wrap this up today because we haven't actually done anything with that oh my god we also have a glow squid farm i forgot about that one nobody nobody wants glow squids i'm sorry to say but nobody likes glow squids you guys should have told me that before i went ahead and built a uh, glow squid farm not having items in my inventory oh wait having a, okay you just banned having anything in my inventory that's great thank you great that's nice very nice of you salt lovely way to start the stream mm. is that enough room yeah, it'll be enough here goes a whole minute of, like, item organizing now. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway, so the plan is that we're going to grab ourselves some water streams coming out of these two farms. Uh, they're going to go into, like, a little item elevator, which is going to go up. And then we're also going to have ourselves a nice floor uh, somewhere, somewhere down, probably about this layer right here. So I'll probably box in, like, this entire room. Uh, probably about the size of the square. We should probably just make it exactly the size of that square. Just to keep things nice and orderly. And then probably have to drain it out. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. But we, we, we need redstone in there. So we got to drain something. And then we need to like figure out how to get the items into storage. And how to get the experience up to the AFK spot. Which is just somewhere in there generally. And then we also need to figure out how to get the items from the squid farms into that as well. Uh, so we, we kind of got to combine all the farms here today. The two hostile mob farms, the glow squid farm, 
and the squid farms. And the drown farm. I think the drown farm would be pretty easy, though. You've never seen the junior mod color in Discord chat before? Well, our previous junior mod that... Well, everyone that was junior mod before got promoted to moderator. Uh, they still have the roles, of course. And then the only person that still has that that wasn't is Minus. But I haven't seen them in, for, like, many, many a moon. So that's why you wouldn't have seen it. See, we got leads, we got boats, we got totems. Look at me walking around without a totem. How dangerous. Live it on the edge. I swear, man. I should get an award for that. It's, 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 a, it's a dangerous world out here. I don't see you guys walking around without totems. It's just insane. Nobody does that. Yeah, like a death wish or something? Crazy. Sanity. The junior mods earn merit badges. I mean... I, I guess, technically. I mean, there's technically a badge next to their name in Discord. Uh, once they get leveled up in Moderator. But, I mean, they technically have a flag next to their name now, which is also a badge. They get, like, a shield badge. So, yeah, I mean, I guess so. Also, Redbeard Manchild. Redbeard Manchild. Premium name. Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Uh, right then. Let's start building up our thing. We have... We, oh, God. We need to do a whole live stream of leaf placing. You guys haven't forgot about that, have you? A whole live stream dedicated to just placing leaves. I know it's what you've always wanted to see. I'm, I'm making you guys wait for it, though. Building up the suspension. The suspension? Yeah, the suspense. The hype. Gonna make you really, really want it. Does wardrobe change? Why, thank you. Stupid smelly skin. We're gonna wear the princess outfit because, of course, we are. It's so cute. Hopefully, there's another one of the uh, Mario Kart and Minecraft soon. It's really fun. Hopefully, we can stream it. Cause that would be that would even be even better. I think. I sound very quiet. Well, my levels say I'm good. Uh, you might need to turn up your your volume. You have a beard? It's red? You're a 38-year-old man-child? Well, then, there you go. Your name fits, then. I have no, uh, <laughs> no quarrels with your name. <laughs> as long as it's accurate. Also, my name's Silent Whisper. so, like, if I'm quiet on the stream, just, like, turn up your volume. What do you expect? Hopefully, they'll send me a new cloud lifter, because it just, like, completely died. It was just putting, like, a thousand tons of static into my, into my, uh... My audio. I went to record that snapshot beta update video, and then it was nothing but static. It's very good to watch back your clips after you record them. Because, like, the stream that I did on Tuesday night, perfectly fine. No issues with the static. And then I go to record on Wednesday morning, and boom. Omega static. Here we go. I was wondering where this stuff went. We don't have very much concrete left. I guess we'll have to go steal some. So aren't I supposed to have like a bunch of glass around here? I don't feel like this is very much glass. Oh, here we go. Here's some glass. I found it, everybody. Don't worry about me. I found it. Found my glass. You're 26 and balding. Sorry. I owe you again. Yeah, that's where I was going with that. Yeah, I'm probably going to sound a bit quieter this stream because the thing that typically gives me, you know, 25 more decibels of sound uh, died. That's why I bought a cloud lifter be to begin with, because I was too quiet. Uh, this mic, the Shure SM7B or whatever, it needs like 60 decibels of gain. Like, it just needs so much. It's just very gain hungry. Uh, is that going to be enough glass? I don't think it's going to be enough glass. I guess what I have to do, though, because we don't have any more. Okay, then. Good talk. Then yell, I'm already talking too loud. Was the bulb, borb called? We will have borbs later on. Please hold your horses. We cannot start the stream off with borbs. We must wait. You've got a cloud lift you're not using anymore? Salad! 
put it on Amazon or eBay or Craigslist or Facebook. I don't know. They're supposed to have like a apparently a limited lifetime warranty on them. So, is this low enough? I don't feel like this is low enough. I want to go like a block lower because this is what three, three blocks below that. I want to have like a nice four block ceiling. My auto's perfect on TV. That's kind of surprising. I c I would expect TVs to have sort of bad bad speakers. Audio is such a weird finicky thing. Because depending on what you're watching on, it can be completely different. Like, there's a few channels that I'm used to only watching on my phone. And they sound fine, but then I watch them on, on my PC and I'm like, oh my god, you sound like way better. It's crazy. Audio is so weird. Okay, hopefully by building up this platform right here, we're going to be limiting the spawning range of the glow squids. So hopefully this will reduce... Hopefully this platform will reduce this, the uh, the rates of our glow squid farm. Because I really do not need any more glowing. If I have more glowing than what I've already got, I'm just going to have to start like forcing it to be taken by people. I'm going to have to start dropping it off at people's bases. Like, here, just take it. I don't want it. So we're reducing the spawning range for the glow squids by like 10 blocks here. That should help. Oh god, why are why are you over here? Get out of here. Go away. I don't want you glow squids. No. Nobody wants a glow squid. New currencies glowing. Inflation would be so bad. <laughs> be so bad. Nobody wants glow ink. Can you put a curse of binding on glow ink? I wish. That would be amazing. It's like, <laughs> you should be able to put a curse of binding on anything and then just have it get stuck in people's inventories. Do you know how amazing that would be? Just like leave an item on the ground or like leave a diamond on the ground, right? It's got curse of binding on it. So people can't get rid of it. They have to like craft it or something. That would be so good. Put binding on some blocks so they can't place them down. <laughs> I should be a Minecraft developer. I'd be coming up with all the good ideas. And then we're gonna add hippopotamuses. Hippopotami? I don't know. And then we're gonna add hippopotamuses. And they're gonna be great. And they're gonna deal 50 damage. <laughs> Feathers, flint, leads. Yeah, just crap all over the world. Just like. Leave it on the other side of another portal so someone goes through another portal. Entire inventory just filled with binding items. It would be so good. It would be amazing. You would have to make binding kind of expensive to put on stuff. <laughs> Add sloths to Minecraft. I'll do it. Vote for me as Minecraft developer 2024. And I'll add sloths and any other mod that you want to Minecraft. Also, Tim Dones and Sprin Ben Bat Mannington and Mermaid, along with uh, Redbeard and Mapliru. Yeah, I said all your names right. Welcome to Silence. Thank you for the follows. <laughs> we also got Zach Jones with the YouTube subscription there. Add my moderators to Minecraft. I added my Minecraft moderators to Minecraft. I hang out with Mr. Cat one time, and suddenly I have all these weird ideas for, for videos that I can't make. <laughs> oh, they're only supposed to be blue around the edges. Uh, well, we need some light in here. I said your name perfectly, definitely. I know I did. 
I, I don't say names wrong. Okay, what's wrong with you? Seriously? <laughs> Did you see that? It went down the bubble elevator. That's not allowed. It says name and items. No, no, they don't. Uh, Rust, thank you for gifting three subs to the community. We got gifted subs to absolutely nothing. Swoopy and Larn Mama. Much appreciated. Hopefully you're doing fantastic, everybody. Show some love to Rust in the chat. <coughs> you know how many bugs I would add to Minecraft if I was a Minecraft developer? I would add so many bugs. I would have a renewable source of uh, content for infinity amounts of time. I add the bugs, and then I fix the bugs, and then I make videos complaining about the bugs that I <laughs> added. This is this is a professional way of doing it. I think Slice Lime is the only Minecraft developer that makes YouTube videos. Maybe I should pass this idea off to him. <laughs> <laughs> Make bugs to fix bugs so you get paid. Yeah, I mean, you don't get paid for fixing bugs if there's no bugs. You gotta add some bugs. So that you got a job. It's job security, obviously. You get paid to make the bugs. You get paid to make videos about the bugs. You get paid to fix the bugs. And then you get paid to make the videos to say that you fix the bugs. It's great. Entrepreneur, man. This is how you do it. In today's economy, you gotta be working four jobs, you know? <laughs> what if that's really what's happening? Turns out that all the... <laughs> Turns out all the popular YouTubers are just Minecraft developers. <laughs> that's why they're so good at this game. Maybe I'm secretly a developer. Have you ever seen me and Corner Hard at the same place at the same time? I don't think so. <laughs> it's a great plan. It is. Fantastic plan. <laughs> no, you add the bugs and then you say, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Ooh, yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, I think we have nine shulkers here now. Which is enough for at least four farms. Which is actually all that we really need. It's, that's too many, even. Watch, we're gonna end up killing, like, most of those. Just because we can. It's absolutely foolproof. Definitely. Nobody would ever fire an employee for purposely adding bugs to the game and then fixing them. For profit? I mean, what? It's crazy. If I was a developer, I would add locator maps for slime chunks you open up the map and it's got green squares all over it and those green squares are slime chunks bam amazing feature you buy them from villagers problem solved and then you never need chunk base and then i would make it so that we have uh i don't know that's my only good idea Make it so wandering traders drop more leads. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, fix the map data problem. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'll just make it so it doesn't apply to that specific map. Offhand for everyone. Yeah, you get an offhand and you get an offhand. Wanting Trader should sell lost items. Oh, hey, look at this. Wanting Trader. He sells garbage. He should sell actually good, useful items. But no, he doesn't. He just sells garbage. Get out of here. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you deserve. Offhand potatoes. Why isn't it possible? Why isn't it possible, Minecraft? Keyboard slam. Yes. I'm glad you could hear that. <laughs> My poor desk. It's actually kind of shaky. 
like, I don't know if I need to tighten some screws on it or something, but it's a little shaky. Oh, earthquake. You, you probably can't tell. Anyway, I wonder why. I don't know. Probably because I smashed my desk. <laughs> Right, so we made an ugly little room over here that's going to be for our storage area. And, uh, yeah, it looks about as ugly as I said it did. So this is going to cut down the spawning range of the glow squids. Hopefully, we don't need nearly as much glowing because we're getting from this thing. And then it's also going to be the input area for all of the various things that we're getting from all of our mob farms. So I just need to figure out how to actually, like build stuff in here oh i guess i also need to put a roof over it and then drain it of water that sounds fairly important but unfortunately i don't have any more glass that is a bit of a problem i guess we'll start building out of non-glass materials <laughs> my desk just gonna fall apart on stream one day that'd be hilarious i usually have a cup of tea right here Ooh, cup of tea Yeah, so that would be slightly bad. Actually, a whole glass of water did get spilled on my desk the other day. But that wasn't my fault. That was somebody else that did it. They were playing VR and just, like, completely just knocked it straight over. It's, that's completely unrelated to my cloud lifter breaking, by the way. Completely unrelated. Just want to make that very clear. It happened to land just, like, in the one corner of the desk where there's absolutely nothing of value. Just, like, on the base of the, the monitor. If it landed in any other direction, it would have cost, like, a grand. That would have been a very expensive cup of water. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I need more glass. There's just, like, none here. Do we have to go back to the base? I guess we probably do. I don't know if it would have cost that much, but it probably would have been expensive. I mean, if it landed on a computer, that would that would definitely be uh, that'd be a bad. End. It could at at the very least, I think it could cost four hundred if it hit the stupid Go XLR. This thing is way too expensive. I don't know why it's so expensive. It's just dumb. It should not cost that much, but I bought it because it's nice. It's actually really convenient. Anyway. I should probably get a more sturdy desk. <laughs> Theft. Steel. Steel glass. I don't think anyone has glass to steal. I certainly don't. Look at all this. Oh, 40 glass. There we go. 32 glass. Okay. We're looking good. This, oh, it's all eggs. I should go do something with those eggs. I need to bomb somebody's nether portal. Uh, we're going to take six stacks of this. And then hopefully that'll be enough. I don't suppose I have any in here, do I? No. Cyan glass. I guess that technically, technically is a glass. Okay. And then I guess we'll just throw away all that. So. Why did my monitor just turn off? Oh, both my monitors turned off. Okay. Well, I was just talking about, you know, the water spillage. My desk is getting revenge on me. Oh, one of them's back. I think I nudged the cords with my foot. I sometimes do that. Hold up. I can't see anything with the chat. Oh, I think I unplugged it from the graphics card. Hold up. <laughs> Computer's getting revenge on me now. I shouldn't be talking bad about it. Yeah, it totally got unplugged from the graphics card. My desk has got like a little, like, I don't know, shelf on the bottom of it. So I put my feet up there. It's super convenient. It's very nice. But uh, my cords are like right behind that. So sometimes I nudge it and bam, no monitors for me. That happened during Twitch Rivals, actually. That was horrible and hilarious. I borked my computer. Oh, it's a dolphin racetrack. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's a truly bedrock stream weekend happening this weekend. Major derp. I'm not a major derp. You're a major derp. Mm. I have better comebacks than you. 
where is the stream like thing? Desk shelves are the best, right? If I get a new desk, I'll have to like look for one that's got like a little shelf underneath it. It's so convenient. This is where my feet live. I've never used it as an actual shelf. But, very convenient for feet. It's a feet shelf. Anyway, uh, yeah, there is actually a new Truly Bedrock stream weekend this weekend. Give me like two seconds and I will pull it up for you. Is it this one? Uh, yes, February 11th and 12th. I'm at the very end of it because of course I am. Ta-da! It looks amazing, doesn't it? Hold up. There you go. You can see it there. Take your screenshots. Take your screenshots. Uh, so it's going to start off on Saturday the 11th and on Sunday the 12th. It's going to be a very long stream weekend. It's got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 hours of stream weekend happening on either day. And you can find it at the Twitch team. Uh, so twitch.tv slash uh, trulybedrock. Or Twitch team. I don't know. It's, it's there. Oh my god. Why isn't it working? Windows, I don't need you to yell at me. I'm just trying to paste a link in the chat. Go go to there. And uh, you'll find a link to all of our channels. And you can watch us. And bookmark that. I don't have any fuel. I have a lot of fish, but no, no fuel. This is going great, by the way. Just want you to be aware of that. It's going very well. Where did all my fuel go? I have no idea. I guess we're not smelting much. We'll just make do with the two stacks of glass that we have. See you later, mindful. Have yourself a good night. Do I not have any fuel? Where should I go? We should be able to burn magma blocks. You know it's a fact. Uh, let's make a bunch of planks, I guess. Uh, slabs. Plank slabs, you know. Yeah, that should do it. A bit silly, I know, but it is what it is. I need a lava farm. I kind of do. I just need a form of farm that has fuel coming out of it. Especially because we're going to build up the raid farm in a while, and that's going to have uh, stuff coming out of it, too, that we need to smelt. So I'm going to use a laze to like sort out all the different items. That we get from that and smelt down all the, the iron stuff. Get a bunch of nuggets out of it. Uh, okay, so this room is now five blocks tall. Do we want it to be five blocks tall? I kind of just want it to be four. Yeah, let's do four. So we can actually tear down one of these layers around the edge. Farms are the best. They're pretty good. I have a double blaze farm. We spend like way too much time building that. I should probably just like get Silent 2 over there one of these days and just get like a double chest of blaze rods. That's what I should really do. That sounds like the good idea. I don't have very many good ideas, but that one, that's a good one. Okay, that's all of our glass. Finally using a laze, right? Also, now that the new update is out, 119.60, uh, I need to make a new tutorial for some mega storage systems. Yeah, I kind of forgot we had a blaze storm too, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I will release... 
I'll, I'll release the version 7 raid farm once it is a little bit more done. I want to do some refinements to it and stuff. Because I'm not quite happy with its current, like, design. Not, like, perfectly happy with it. I would prefer to have a way to get all the Ravagers just into the kill chamber. Instead of them just, like, chilling wherever. And then dying in lava randomly. And I also don't want them to spawn on the ground or have to do any ground spawn proofing. I don't know why they're spawning on the ground, but I would like it if they would stop doing that. That was not nearly enough glass. It's going to be a stacked farm. It's going to be a single village farm. Uh, it's going to be just like a really simple, straightforward, easy to build, super duper simple and cheap raid farm. That's the idea behind it. That's what I want it to be. Uh, cause version six, you know, oh my god, there's fuel in this chest. I am an idiot. Please tell me I'm an idiot because, like, that's just ridiculously stupid of me. There's fuel in the chest underneath the furnaces. Why is it there? I don't know, man. It's just there. I don't make up the reasons why. It's just, like, it's just there. Yeah, raids can spawn on anything besides leaves and scaffolding. Literally, like, anything. Chests, minecart, rails, like, redstone, and, you know, ladders. They can spawn on ladders. They can spawn on whatever they want. They don't care. So I don't have any more... Blue concrete, do I? I don't. I guess we'll use some black concrete on top of it. Or we'll just go buy some later. Like, we need, like, a little edge block right here. Binder of underground borb, so we can do that. I think we have some left over from the, uh, the end. Good name. Underground borbs. The best borbs. Oh, do we need to put slabs above this? That way the silly squids don't spawn. We might need. Or blocks are just entombed, entombed borb. They kind of are. Oh, hi, more glass. Well, I guess we can start getting out the, uh, the sponges. More slabs. Always yes. Yeah, we do always need more slabs around here. That's generally how it goes. Soldier Mom, welcome back. How you doing for 47 months of resubscribing? That's a lot of months. James just had his uh, 50th the other day. Sanity. It's too much. Y'all gotta chill out. Lot of derps. Many, many, many derps. Do we need less than eight blocks down here? Maybe we do. Hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Oh my god. I'm missing one, aren't I? Probably. No, that's actually it. Perfect amount of blocks. Fantastic. I need... Yeah, the hell. There we go. So, can I just place that right there? No, that's not 
high enough, I guess. Wow, it really just fills back in, doesn't it? That just did nothing. It did nothing. Literally nothing. Okay. Uh, well, that was stupid. <laughs> Sponges are not overpowered at all. They're, they're quite weak. I don't want to build walls. That's why I was trying to do it that way. I think we got to do it like every other. How is it able to fill it back in? Evil. Evil. It shouldn't be able to do that. Stop it. Stop filling it back in. Okay, I guess we need balls. Stupid thing. Stupid dub water physics. Infinite water. Stupid. Right, so what blocks do we want to use for that then? Guess we can go get a bunch of slime. Uh, or we can just use this ice. That's not enough ice. Well, let's go ahead and get ourselves a bunch of uh, slime from Zloy again. I think it's about the, the best thing we can do there. Now the resources for glass walls. No. <laughs> all the slime I returned. Yeah, exactly. All the slime that I already put back. Precisely. One billion years later. Yes. We might have to go chop some wood later as well. Because I don't know if I have enough hoppers for all this stuff. Okay, he'll never know it was gone, everybody. He'll never know. Slime is once again the answer to all of life's problems. Yes. <laughs> How'd the chocolate farm end up? I haven't worked on it since we did the stream on Tuesday. Uh, but I have some ideas. We'll work on it. <laughs> Pays Lloyd with glow ink. That would be so rude. <laughs> Hey, sorry for all those diamonds that I uh, owe you, but here's a bunch of glow ink. The most useful thing. The most useful item. Please place down the block. Thank you. Well, hopefully that'll be good enough. can't drain it after this then this thing doesn't deserve to be drained a volume of glowing worth a chocolate box of diamonds dadcraft actually needs like a stack of diamond blocks like just for the community town hall build which like you know good excuse to get a whole bunch of free diamonds I should I should use that like, hey, yeah, so I'm, I'm doing this community project. I just need, uh, let's see, a stack of diamond blocks, stack of netherite, a couple stacks of, uh, you know, unobtainium. <laughs> I haven't seen his plans for it, but I think it's going to turn out pretty awesome. There's already one of his towers there, you know? It looks pretty cool. Dragon block. Yeah, you know, nothing, no big deal. Oh, 
Well, I guess we'll just let it go down like that. It's like, why not, right? Ah, uh, so I used, what, nine sponges? That's not too bad. 50 infinity stones. Yeah, you know, a small, a small, a small loan. That's a wet sponge. It's like, hold up, something was supposed to happen there. <laughs> and it didn't. <laughs> Let's just fill it in with wet sponges. How about that? Take that, sponges. Whoever said wet sponges weren't useful? This place is going to spawn a whole bunch of creepers. Yeah, the clear water is a bit too clear when you're trying to do this sort of thing, isn't it? Oh, there's two more partitions? Okay. We'll have to not serve sponges then. I thought there was only three sections. This is the opposite of conserving sponges. We do YouTube or Twitch for a job? Yeah, we're full-time. We've been full-time since 100k. Technically, quite a while before. But officially, as of 100k. So that's really cool. I'm getting worse at this, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, sponge sp my sponge skills significantly decreased as we went on there. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, but uh, sure. <laughs> Hey, Dutch, how you doing? How is this in any way an automatic storage system? You need to build the room before you can build the storage. <laughs> Jeez. Nobody ever teach you how to build a storage system before? <laughs> doing all right. Can I please get some more sponges? Thank you. Oh, I need more sponges than that. More sponges. Come on now. More. More sponges. That's all you got for me? Why are you so slow? There goes the desk again. Mm -hmm. Desk views. <laughs> it's for emphasis. How is it literally like worse than last time. Okay, that one makes sense, because, you know, it's a block right here. Yeah, so I don't know where I want to have the entrances at, uh, but I feel like we should block off the water so that it can't spread around. Otherwise, I'm going to be fighting it for years over here. Bam! Dry room! And all it took was, like, a stack of sponges. Favorite redstone design. There's a lot of different stuff you can do with redstone. I am rather fond of the 3x3 spiral doors. I need to build one of those someday. I designed one like way back in like 2018 for bedrock. Where you can link them together. They're one wide tileable. I think I have water in it. Not anymore, don't. put a hole in the wall or something. I like coming in through the corners. But I don't know what the layout of the storage system is going to be yet. So we'll have to decide upon that. Also, what's up with this water? It's just like two blocks over. It's not spreading out. That's kind of weird. Strange. Strange indeed. I guess we can come up through the floor. Sometimes. Depends on the bubble column action. Four stacks of slime blocks. Let's go for that. 
So now the real question is, what is our redstone situation like? Do we have any? We do. Okay, good. End of story. You know what? A stack of the slime was actually mine anyway. It was supposed to be for the shulker box there. Uh, so we have 16 hoppers, 5 chests, and 29 logs. Okay. Very good. This is excellent. That's more materials than we've ever needed for just about anything. Okay, we're really lacking on the materials front right now. Do we have anything of use in any of these chests? It's all fish. It's all, I turned all my wood into slabs. That's right. Okay, I remember now. Right then. Well, let's go steal some iron. Maybe grow some spruce trees. Hello, Henry. How you doing? Have a good night, I heart. Can I? Can I? Can I get in there? Thank you. Okay, what's the wood situation? A couple stacks of logs. That's actually not too bad. That's probably more logs than we need. Very good sign. How's the iron? We'll go steal some. Redstone. We'll take a stack of this. Uh, we'll take the stack of pistons as well. And then... What else do we need for a sword system? Comparators, probably. 12 quarts. Sure, why not? Seems reasonable. A couple droppers, maybe? I think we have droppers and dispensers. Nothing else here should be of value. Cool, let's go steal some iron then. Do have an iron farm? Uh, we technically have one because we built one for Zloy. Sort of. I don't know. It's, it, this is kind of like our shared farming area, but then Zloy claimed it as his base, so I'm kind of fuzzy on the details. But technically, I built an iron farm. And then, it's Zloy's iron, but it's also my iron, but it's also Liara's iron. It's kind of everybody's iron. It's iron, whatever. If you need it, use it, right? That's what's important. We have materials for those in need. That's how we do things right here. Uh, we also got Inferna and Trucker along with Aikosoro. I said that name correctly. We got Myth of Swagger and Griffin along with Kamede and Stealth Gaming. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Welcome in. Hopefully you're doing great. Uh, let's go ahead and grab... Do we have any more of this warp stuff? Not really. No, we do not. Nope. Gravel. That's all gravel. Okay. We don't have any more warp signs. Uh, so I will just go ahead and... Use some spruce. That's fine. Nothing's wrong with spruce. As long as you actually turn it into buttons. I don't know how many we need. Hello, Mia Sage. How you doing? Oh, we need four each. Okay, so that's going to mean that we need eight, 16, 24. There we go. 26. Exactly how many I needed. I don't know if we need entrances on all four sides. I don't know how the storage system is playing out. I don't know anything. I'm building it on the fly. Uh, so I have a, a couple tutorials on item sorters, like item filters, individual item slices. And you can build pretty much any system you want uh, from that video. And then my video on a multi-item sorter is also a scalable design. So you can build that pretty much any size that you want. Except for the bottom redstone, which just goes underground, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, let's make ourselves a stack of hoppers, shall we? Is 
That should be, yeah, 57 hoppers. Okay. Oh my god, there are many more chests too. Crazy. Yeah, storage systems are expensive, as it turns out. Uh, can I please make a chest? No? Okay. There we go. Stack of chests, stack of hoppers. Sounds about right. Not absurd is overrated. Chaos, yes. So our room has come along quite a bit nicer. Now it's it's a bit ugly on the outside, but that's fine. Anyway, it's dry on the inside at the very least. So we just need to determine how much of this is actually going to be dedicated to storage. Because we got a lot of farms and more on the way. So a fair amount of this should be storage. But I feel like we should have some other things down here as well. Maybe like dedicate one side of this to like some mini little micro farms. Stuff that we can use the bone meal for. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. But three sides of this, or at least two sides, or at least one side of it should be storage. You can tell that I'm, I'm very well planned here. I know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to the storage system. I even remember exactly how to build the item filters. Because of course I do. Remember when hoppers were made of stone? Weren't they made of planks? Planks and iron. Is this tall enough for an item server? What if I didn't make it tall enough? You can put reactions on Twitch? What? Let's do it just for the week. It is the week. It's Thursday. Yeah, so I think you need three blocks back. Do we have chests like here? You know what, let's let's hop over to the redstone world. Let's see what let's see what we gotta do. Ugh. Uh not that redstone world apparently. What other redstone world do I have? Um None. Okay, well I guess we'll just wing it. Reliable flying machine. My videos for how to do like the bamboo farm and stuff with the flying machine. That flying machine is very reliable. It's Thor's day. Let's get hammered. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Meta and Fox, thank you for the follows. Welcome in. I still want to know why it takes so long to join this world. Servers. Did I have 29 servers? I don't think I have that many. I shouldn't have that many. Let's see, comparators and redstone. I always forget how to do these things. Bear with me for a moment. While I remember how to build the most basic thing ever. So, I need some building blocks as well. Do I have any? No. Oh, what, what should we use as our building blocks? I guess just like polished deep slate. Have any of that? I don't. Let's uh, make some, I guess. Yeah, and then we'd also need some glass right here as well. This one right here would be glass. And look at that, I actually have some. Amazing. So, we would have that. Come on now. Trying to be a professional. It's not going very well. <laughs> uh, this would be our piston and then the redstone torch. Oh, and then... Okay, so we do need it to be a block forward even. They're kind of long, as it turns out. Now, we might have a hopper line in the ceiling... Oh, we can't have any like that. Yeah, I think we're going to have to have the hopper transport line in the ceiling. Unless we only want, like, two. 
two things. You can use pistons or target blocks, it doesn't matter. It just needs to be something that's, you know, able to turn off the the torch and redirect redstone. Boo, pistons. I don't have any weight. Uh, right then. So, this would be... No, this is wrong. No, wait. No, it's not. Hold up. I'm stupid. It is wrong. Fixed it. Fixed it, everybody. Don't worry. I can break out that block. Oh, you know what? Let's have a sea lantern right there. Because it's dark. Yeah, so that'll do it. And then this is the item filter. And then the ceiling block would have the actual transport line in it. Which happens to work out pretty pretty well, actually. I have 3,000 double chests and no useful blocks in any of them. Exactly. Right then. So we need four blocks for redstone. The fifth one is for the hoppers. Uh, you know what? Let's find out the center of this room. The center of this room is a two by two. One, two, three, four, five. One, a two, a three, a four, and a five. I guess that one's already lined up because it's smart. Wow, if we build storage on all four sides, we're not going to have any room in this place. Like, literally none. <laughs> Jeez, storage takes up a lot of room. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's put it on two sides. Yeah, so item filters are quite long, and they, this room is just not big enough to have it on all four sides, is it? Like, this is what the center of our storage system would be like if we had all four sides. That's only, like, uh, 16 item sorters that we could have if we wanted it on all four sides, which is not reasonable. So let's do it on two sides, and then we can have, like, you know, whatever, 30 sorters, and that should be enough. That, this is crazy. They take up way too much room. If we build it really small, I guess I don't need that many resources, though, do I? Yeah, look at this. We can have so many more if we just use two sizes. Here we go. Just like this. Escape down to the floor. It would be so tight and compact. I don't like it. Uh, we want all of our chests to be facing the right direction. Which I guess is south in this case? I don't know what direction's which. This is not enough chests, as it turns out. Does he wiggle room? Yeah, so now we got like a four wide pathway down the middle. I mean that's fine, yeah, whatever. Uh we'll put some we'll put something in the floor and make it nicer. Hmm. Entrances. How do we want to do entrances? Anybody got a good idea for that? <laughs> I guess we could just have them drop in right here. Uh, bubble column or something. What's the best Minecraft update in my opinion? I would say probably the... Uh, I don't know. I think the nether update was really good. The nether update was quite nice. I guess we don't need all these buttons then. Reason why the Nether update's so good is because it completely changed a whole dimension. Added so many mobs, it added lures, it was great. But you gotta keep in mind that 117, 118, and 119 were all intended to be the exact same update. Uh, but there's just so many features, and also COVID hit. So they had to split it up. So technically, that's like the best ultimate Minecraft update. Because there's just so much in that update, right? Can't go wrong with 117, 18, and 19. Uh, 
I, I didn't want that. I wanted a piece of glass. No pieces of glass? Okay, sure. I don't think we need half of those buttons, but we will once we get bubble columns in here. End update will be great whenever they get to it. Yeah, I'm really hoping we get an end update here sometime soon. That would be fantastic. Uh, I guess we'll just go through the ceiling here. Kind of expected us to pop up underneath some jokers. We enter through the gold farm. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't it? Swim in from underneath. Yeah, just go in through the, the glow squid farm. That'll do it. Uh, right then. So, I came up here for something. Anybody know what it was? Because I forget. I don't know what it was. It was something. It must have been important. I got the memory of a doorknob, so I, I don't know. I do need to do the stuff in the floor. Hey, don't knock doorknob memory. It's pretty effective at times. It can open up a whole new world of things. Or it can lock you out. And that's about the extent of my door puns. Looking for glass. Probably. When in doubt, it's usually glass. Hello, Axonem. How you doing? Mozzarella sticks. Mm. You know what? I got some onion rings at the store the other day. Oh, but sad news. My air fryer broke. Like three things broke this week. Cloud lifter, air fryer. By far the air fryer is definitely the most important thing. Who needs videos? Air fryer though. Man, gotta get that air fryer. Can't live without an air fryer. It's clinically proven. Facts. Uh you know what? This needs to be converted actually. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's still a piece of concrete down there. Hair dryer. There's a, allegedly there is a hair fryer. Uh, yeah, hair fryer. <laughs> hair dryer is somewhere in this house. I'd really like to find it. I'm sure that'd be very nice. I bought it, and then it disappeared, and I never saw it again. I saw it maybe one time. I have no idea where that thing is. Allegedly, it exists. According to legend. <laughs> Playing PC is so much faster. Oh, it's so much faster. Facts. Absolute facts. Yeah, air fryer. <laughs> that that's what a curling iron is if you don't know how to use it. It's a hair fryer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, be careful of those hair fryers, you know. They'll get you. Uh well I guess we're out of blue. So we'll have to go get some or make some. Uh, I think we might be able to make some, actually. We'll have to convert it, though. <laughs> I 
Use the hair fryer daily. You're bald now. <laughs> Yeah, be careful, man. Ah, uh, well, I turned all of our sand into glass. Well. Do I have gravel? I better have some gravel. We mined out the entire bottom of the ocean for it. Oh, I need to go give that to Zloy, actually. We need to meet up at some point. I need to give him a bunch of stuff. Here we go. Light blue. 32, hopefully that's enough. Do you think I'm 5-1? Is that what you're getting at, Kaz? Short King, apparently. <laughs> Combine the hairspray with the hair fryer? Mmm. That's how you get deep fried hair. <laughs> there were lots of fires in the 80s. Yeah, I wonder why. Lots of CFCs. Lots of destroyed ozone layers in the 80s. No one ever talks about the ozone hole anymore because we actually, like, took steps to avoid it. And it's actually, like, just getting fixed now. It's over Antarctica, I believe. Good stuff. Look at us. Taking actions to stop our world from getting destroyed. And to stop everybody from getting skin cancer. Amazing. Because we fixed it. Because science. Yeah, exactly. Well, we didn't really, like, fix it, but we stopped it from getting it worse. Good stuff. Uh, right then. So that is the beginnings of the storage room. We need a lot more chests. Guess we should probably get a craft table down here. Oh, and I'll need a piece of obsidian, too, I guess. Uh, maybe we will have a storage on either end. We'll save this as, like, a little end cap piece. And also, it's right next to the elevators. I don't really like the look of that, you know. Honestly, a huge win to make a global problem solved by global squale so quickly. So, yeah, seriously, no one really talks about it enough, but, like... The fact that everybody was able to take action on CFCs, like, relatively quickly, on, like, a global scale, and everybody phased it out, and actually listened to scientists is really cool. That was good stuff. And, like, that eventually happened to lead paint, or, uh, lead gas, and I guess probably lead paint as well. Just lead stuff in general. Also, how stupid do you gotta be to put lead in stuff? We've known lead is, like, gonna kill you since literally forever. I think uh, Veritasium did a video on that, actually. About the guy who's, like, killed the most people in history. Because he did, like, three different horrible things. He came up with leaded gasoline, which has killed, like, hundreds of thousands of people from, you know, lung diseases and cancer and whatever. And then he did, like, two other horrible things. Just killed a ton of people. That dude's in super hell. <laughs> we need extra redstone down here. White pistons, because I don't have any target blocks. That's why. Oh, do I need more types of glass here? I guess we got a whole stack. I was about to be all worried. Like, man... Also, I'm not set on FF on if I want the uh, sea lanterns here because it might be kind of nicer to have it dark back here. Have it be kind of dark in the redstone because otherwise you're going to see all the redstone from above. I don't really like the look of that. 
Doctors have recognized the high doses high dosages of lead are downright poisonous since at least the days of Hippocrates. Uh, but it was not until March 29, 1979 that a pediatrician and child uh, psychiatrist named Herbert Needleman first documented the dangerous and even the lowest forms of lead exposure. Yes, lead. It's bad. We know that's bad. It's horrible. It's the worst. And apparently I can't read. <laughs> thanks, Herbert. Yeah, thanks, Herbert. <laughs> You're the man, Herbert. Is that dude still alive? Lead bad. Yeah, why is it gotta be in paint too? Okay, it's so bad. They they put lead paint on like children's toys. And lead's actually been shown to like have significant uh, developmental it, to cause significant developmental issues as well. Um, and, like, impede brain function and all that. So. Yeah. That's bad. So, if you're ever wondering why someone's just extra dumb, maybe they had lead paint. And they just really liked eating it. I don't know. <laughs> Kids love to eat it. Oh, that's lovely. That's great. Very nice. Of course, of course it's sweet. Naturally. Why, why wouldn't it be? Of all the things made from radium. Oh yeah, I remember back, I saw some, I saw some video on it, but like in the 60s, there was like uh, a little like toy kit that had literal like radioactive elements in it. like uranium or something in it like child's first nuclear reactor <laughs> i don't know what it was called good stuff aren't you glad we don't live in the past it's so nice to live in this the year 2023 the future where we're not constantly poisoning ourselves with lead paint and gas and all that good stuff Baby's first bomb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Okay, something really cool, though, is that there are several colleges out there that have their own nuclear reactors that are actually ran by, like, high school students. Like, there's, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, they were built in, like, the 60s, I want to say. They're really cool. They're, they're used, like, to this day for science and stuff. Uh, they don't produce power or anything, but they're they're cool. I think that was also a Veritasium video. Or, no, wait, that was... Oh, what's his name? With the red shirt. Scott something. He made a video on that. Seriously? Yeah, it's a, it's a great thing. Tom Scott, that's his name. Yeah, he made a video on it. He's, he's been, like, literally everywhere on the planet, it seems. He's the most successful tourist in the universe. Go check it out. It's really cool, actually. It, it creates this amazing, like, blue color. Science YouTube. There's a lot of cool stuff you can find on there. Nuclear reactors are legitimately, like, incredibly safe, though. Kyrgyzstat, I, I can never say it. It's German. Can't blame me. Uh, they made a video, like, breaking down the, like, health effects of every type of power generator. And no matter any way that you slice it, nuclear is just, like, by far basically the safest. Because, like, coal power plants, you don't really consider those dangerous. But literal, just, like, cancer to everybody who lives around them. I am looking for more chests. We don't have enough of those. Let's see. Chest. There we go. Didn't I just use a whole stack of wood? How do we only get... We should have gotten 32 out of that. Anyway. Shenanigans. Depends on the design. Yeah, there are some older designs that aren't as good. 
Uh, but as long as they're maintained and funded and cared for, then, like, they're perfectly fine. Like, Chernobyl was caused by negligence, basically. And then Fukushima was, you know, built on the coastline where tsunamis can happen. So that's not necessarily a good place to put a nuclear reactor. But as long as you don't do either of those two things, you'll be fine. Also, like, <laughs> Russia, don't, don't bomb a nuclear reactor. Thank you. Everybody would appreciate that. No Canada reactor has ever had a failure. Very nice. Go Canada. Another reason to move to Canada. <laughs> As if you needed a more, a more reasons. Uh, you know what? I think. What's the best way of doing this? I guess we can set the item filters from the front, can't we? Because I need to get in here at some point and set the item filters. Uh, yeah, so the old designs of nuclear reactors, not quite ideal. I think, what was it, General Electric was one of the manufacturers for them. And one of their ways of making money was to design each one different with their own proprietary parts. Uh, so that repair is difficult and you gotta, you know, you know buy expensive unique parts so that's obviously stupid I shouldn't be doing that uh but nowadays there is a lot of like really safe new designs coming out so that's good can't transition away from fossil fuels without without nuclear renewables are amazing on their own but uh, nuclear is Fusion is, of course, like, the thing that you want, but that is still a ways off. We're not going to have that until, like, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50. It's always 30 years away, unfortunately. Wasn't Chernobyl built cheap and nastily? Probably. Probably. You live right next to a university that has a reactor? That's so cool! They have a particle accelerator? What? That's amazing. Man, you got cool science stuff up there. A jelly. I'm jealous of you. Stop that. Stop having cool science things. Share. <laughs> we have fusion. Look outside at noon. Yeah, we do have fusion. Uh, it's called solar panels. <laughs> Which work super well. Uh, let's see. Asian fusion. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about. I can see the confusion, though. Uh, we can't craft these into the... Wait, here we go. Just cobble. We used four entire shulker boxes of Deep Slate. Three-ish nuclear reactors have been a 75 mile radius of your house. That's pretty cool. Do I live in the States? I do. I live in Oregon. Oregon. Aren't I in Washington? I'm not. I'm in Oregon. Am I out of hoppers now? No. Good. Don't want to be running out of hoppers. That'd be sad. I'm totally about to run out of hoppers, though. Uh, cool. Let's, let's get some more of this built. Wow, we've not been streaming for that long at all. I thought we've been streaming for much longer. Yeah, I think the one that Tom Scott uh, visited was in Seattle, I want to say. It's been a while since I watched that video, though. So I'm not entirely sure. Hello, Argonian. Hey. <laughs> How does Steve stay in shape? He doesn't need to, man. Have you seen the stuff he carries around? Man can lift like a whole skyscraper. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. And then we just gotta have our extra blocks right here. And then the blocks right here as, as well. Does Oregon have a board bill too? I don't know. But I'm gonna say maybe. It's a big state. It's probably, I mean, if you look hard enough, you can you can make anything happen. Best wrestling component? Uh observer. Probably. Or the hopper. I don't know either a hopper is a pretty fundamental redstone component though without hoppers you can't really do much at all you can't you can do like nothing with storage because you don't have any way to get stuff into or out of containers so they're pretty they're pretty critical there's nothing else that does their job most other components can be replaced in some fashion or substituted but a hopper not really. You made peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. What? Share. Oh my god. Uh, we got Striker and Brandon's along with Nighthawk and Tricky Tiger and Dien and Gordo and Meta and a couple others. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Why use pistons for that component of the sorter? Because it's the standard way of making them on bedrock. Uh, it redirects redstone dust and it also inverts the torch. It turns off the torch when it gets powered. Uh, you could use target blocks, but I don't really have them any. I didn't even know I had any. <laughs> bedrock control for redstone. Uh, I've gotten pretty used to bedrock redstone, but I think Java has more possibilities, especially with flying machines and all that. Also, there's a lot of features in bedrock that we're just completely missing. Pet obsidian at the end. I have it, but there's two obsidian right here. I was just looking for that, actually. Right, so we need stacks. Fat stacks of logs. If I hadn't turned all those logs into slabs, we'd have some wood right now. Stack of logs will give us 32 chests, so that's 32 hoppers. I think we probably need three stacks of logs. We can get that fairly quickly. From this here birch forest. There you go. Let's go kill some birch. Nobody likes birch anyway. Have a video on the parody of Redstone? I've done a couple parody videos. Uh, I need to make another one, though. Also, there's Dark Oak over here, actually, and that's a lot more efficient for chopping down and getting wood. The bigger the tree, the, the more efficient it is for chopping down. Getting logs from. Probably need to chop down, like, two or three of these, to be honest. I would grow some saplings, but it's just so slow. And unless you have spruce saplings and a bunch of bone meal, it's not really worth your time. It's faster to just go chop a couple trees in the middle of the forest where no one will ever see it or care about it. You got a quack? Do you guys like ducks? Hi. Just chilling over here. I guess. Ah, uh, Flaming, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. We're chopping a couple trees right now because we need more logs for chests. So that we can build up a storage system. So that we can store items. So we don't have a bunch of items on the ground. 
build a tree farm. I should build a tree farm. I need to. Speaking of, I need to design or I need to make the video on the mangrove tree farm. Uh, I'll have another video out tomorrow. That'll be very exciting. You'll want to see that. And then I'll have a tutorial out on the weekend. By Saturday, I'll have a new tutorial. And then maybe Sunday, I'll do the raid farm or something. It depends on what kind of Minecraft news there is and all that. Hey, some iron! Why you gotta do that to me? Hmm? Why you gotta do that? So rude. Rude person. Ah, uh, that's like three stacks of logs. That should be enough, hopefully. You know what? Let's get a couple more. Because I need some logs as, like, my actual usage. To, like, actually keep on my player. Because I use all the logs that I have. Never seem to actually jump. There you go. I jumped. <laughs> it's always super loud. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just not that jump scareable. It, it probably depends on timings. I'm never gonna like scream or something. Ah. <laughs> there you go, I screamed. You're welcome. I think Dark Oak is probably like the second best tree for wood farming. I would say jungle, but they got those stupid little branches and you gotta break so many little leaves to get to them. Not really worth it, you know? then you get all the way down the bottom of the tree and then you look up and there's another another log up there. You gotta go back and break. I do some good gasp of horror when I get creeper sound alerts. Yeah, tall spruce is just the best tree. There's no branches and it's just like chunky. It's chunky. Big thick tree. It's great. Can't go wrong with a big old oak. Uh, let's keep a stack of dark oak as our primary backup wood, and then the rest of this can just be made into chests. There we go, 62 chests. That was worth it. And then we got two extra stacks, and I guess we'll see how long that lasts. Scream like Ned Flanders. Oh, I haven't heard him scream in so long. Ah! I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Is that accurate? Is that a good Ned Flanders scream for you? Are you satisfied? Weirdo. So who wants to bet that we need more wood? Because we just used all of our chests. <laughs> That's great. Another stack of chests. And only 45 hoppers out of that? Oh, man. Is this a new item sorter? Uh, this is just a standard item sorter, but it's for all of our mob farms that we've been building over the last little while. This might be too many item sorters, even. Oh, look at that. Two extra hoppers. Absolute professional. Except that we need a line of hoppers going across the top here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Thirty-two item sorters. That's not too bad. That's pretty solid. Let's craft a couple more hoppers. So we have some extras. And there we go. Now we got ourselves a nice little storage room. It's so pretty. We need some item frames, so I'll have to go kill like a hundred mobs. And that should be it, really. 
There's such things as too many soldiers. Yeah, I mean, we're already farming three, six, nine mobs over here. We're going to be farming even more. No, we are farming even more. We're farming like 15 right now. Uh, cause the hostile mob farms. We haven't even gotten those set up yet. We've spent basically the entire stream just doing this stuff. Uh, so I guess we'll start starting on that then. May as well. Let's get some stone buttons. Get some ice. Oh, we need like glass for that. some we're gonna need a little bit of soul sand as well so we might need to pop into the nether real quick more wood maybe a little bit but hopefully not much Uh, do we have more stone? I need just a little bit. There we go. Turn these into some buttons. For the water streams. Yeah, so basically we just need to continue along these water streams into a bubble column. The heads up and then over. Still need mangrove farm. I know. I need to do that. I'm sorry. I haven't done it yet. Right. Let's head to the Nether for a little, a little stroll. Oh come on. I should have had that. There we go. Professional. I've designed several tree farms. I just haven't designed a mangrove tree farm. Uh, I do have one, but I haven't made a video on it yet. Also, Wither, welcome in. How you doing? I think I'm here for like literally maybe five soul sand. Where does one find a soul sand? Man, if only there was like a whole biome in the nether that was made out of soul sand or something. You guys know of anything like that? Some place that we can find? It's like a whole pile of soul sand. I mean, I'm looking all over the place. I don't see any. Maybe maybe this trail leads us leads us somewhere. Excuse me, I'm trying to have a little bit of a scavenger hunt here. Here we go. Looks like there's some over there. Ow. So rude. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Little pile right here. Just just a little bit. Excuse me. Ow, you're so rude. This is the only soul sand I could find in this whole place. Just gotta go blow it up. Oh, seriously? What do you do? Live here or something? Like, what? what's your problem? Ow, everything's on fire around here. This guy sounds so weird. Okay. Yes, you're out of control. <laughs> Try Fortress Thousand Blocks away. Oh, yeah, that would probably have a little bit. I don't have the gas textures on. No, I don't. I don't know why. I have the texture back on. It just isn't working. Am I ever going to release another farm tier video? Uh, maybe once something changes with the updates. Oh, no. They took my torch down. <laughs> I have no idea where the portal is now. Oh, no. Torch is still right there. Okay. I should probably move this up a little bit because it is just impossible to see. There we go. One block up. Not, not too annoying, but just, you know, a little bit right there. Did I get lava? I didn't. I don't have any buckets. Yeah, no buckets. See? Gonna have gotten lava. 
no way to do it, man. I'm not stupid. I'm just unprepared. I didn't bring sponges. <laughs> yeah, every single gas that shot at me hit me, too. They were, like, really, really on point. Just oh, immaculate aim. Truly professional. Oh, you know what? I think we need some magma blocks because baby zombos come through here. We need to block them in. And I think we need some trap doors as well, actually. Surely, here we go. I think I only need four. And then... I guess we'll use dark oak for the trap doors. Nobody will ever see it. It'll be fine. We're not going to question it. Thank you. No questions. Uh, so item filters haven't really changed on Bedrock in the last few years. So if you go to my t my channel, there's a couple of tutorials for item filters and item sorters and all that good stuff. Uh, I just built those. They, they still work perfectly fine. Nothing's really changed at all. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, so baby zombies get out of here sometimes. Uh, you know what? We need a baton right there. Do, we, do I think anyone's ever beat Minecraft without any outside help? Uh, Minecraft is one of those games where you just really have to, like, Google stuff. Especially back in the day. Uh, nowadays... Maybe you could do it, but finding out Eyes of Ender is kind of a pain. Like, finding out how to get Eyes of Ender. Maybe if you found a stronghold and you saw one of the eyes in the portal, you'd be like, oh, okay. I need to get more of those. But otherwise, like, who's just going to randomly make an eye vendor and then throw it and then follow it? Right? Seems kind of un unlikely. But maybe. Maybe someone's done it. Minecraft was so confusing to me when I first started playing. I had a friend showing me stuff. And it was still like, what is this game? How do you do anything? What is anything? I was using gold tools. I was trying to plant crops without water. I was I was doing all kinds of stuff. This game doesn't tell you squat. <laughs> uh, do we now have any packed ice? We do not. Okay, well, that is a problem. I guess nowadays it's a lot easier to learn from what's already in the surroundings in your Minecraft world. Like, if you find a village, you're going to see that there's water next to plants. And then, like, the tool tips and everything tells you a lot more. So you don't need to Google as much. And then, like, the recipe book pops up and all that good stuff. They've done a lot to make it a lot more accessible. Uh, but originally, it was, like, very, very complicated. You wouldn't find most stuff out. Just get an AI to explain it perfectly. Yes. <laughs> or that. We have way more packed ice than I thought we did. I don't know how much we need. Maybe this much, maybe less. I think you've learned mostly from me and Waddles. Yeah, Waddles definitely has a lot of good videos. I think Chunk Base came back with a feature that uh, shows you spawners. I'm pretty sure. I saw that on their Twitter feed. Uh. Right then, let's get down to business. So there's two ways of doing this. I'm thinking of going straight forward to here and then just going vertical 
and then we're gonna have to go loop it around the side a little bit and then bring it to here and then have it go at the end uh but what if we just had oh it doesn't line up oh no it, it could it could line up yeah so we could just have that go off right here instead of going out the middle Spamming my chat with subs and waddles now. <laughs> We've never actually collabed. We've like mentioned each other in videos like probably a dozen times, but we've never collabed. We could be the same person for all you know. You've never seen us both in the same place at once. I mean, hey, anything's possible. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? It's wasting glowing. This is good. I don't know what we would collab on. Why why we have it collabed? <laughs> I mean we do like very similar stuff. I don't know. Let's see if he wants to join respawn or something. I don't even know how to contact. One does not simply contact <laughs> bottles. No, it's full. <laughs> Nobody wants any of that. I love bug fixes. Does he do bug videos? He has a lot more Let's Plays than I do. We just both do update videos. That's pretty much it. We did release a parody video, like, we both released a parody video on the same day. <laughs> the closest to a collab we've ever gotten. <laughs> right then. Okay, so that'll bring everything out to this direction. Uh, we'll need to have our little, like, zombie killing station over here somewhere. I don't know exactly where I want that to be. We'll have to install that once we figure out the water. Does Waddles do anything multiplayer? Because everything I've seen from him is solo. Okay, Bubbles, I really need you to stop being bubbly for a minute. I like playing with Bubbles, but this is too much. This area has a lot of Bubbles. You should call it the Bubble Farming area. Oh, there we go. I broke it. Did I fix it? That shouldn't have fixed it, but okay. Right, so, oh, right, experience. Experience. XP orbs. Yeah, that's a problem. So, XP orbs and items are going to come flushing up through here. And then... And then what? No friends, Waddles. <laughs> that would be kind of sad. <laughs> this way doesn't do multiplayer videos because he has no friends. Aha! We figured it out, guys. No. Just kidding. Oh, we got to move that one, too. That one's more annoying. No, I don't want to eat the, the experience. I want to use the experience. I want to get the experience to my player. Straight to my face. So, the original idea for the experience was to uh, 
have it just go straight up and then into here. So we would dump all of the items and experience into here, right? The experience would go up to the player. Uh, and then the items would be sorted out. That's not really going to work, is it? Mm, man. Getting yawns for no reason. So, yeah, how do I want to do that now? I don't know. We can break that out from a button and stuff. Oh, we need a lot more hoppers. Yeah, I guess we should go get 32 more hoppers. Seven, twenty-nine. That's not quite enough, is it? Thirty-seven. Okay, good enough. Don't need that much iron <laughs> jeez um yeah i don't know how we want to deliver the experience i guess we can just try sorting out the items and then see see what happens from there maybe the experience will just like kind of run over this I would think it would. I'm kind of thinking it might get stuck in a hopper, though. Because you can kind of, like, stand down inside these hoppers. So you can, like, sink down into them a little bit. So I think the XP might get stuck on that. So, yeah, I'm not sure what the best way to do it would be. Whatever it is, we need to do it twice. Because, you know, we got that side and the other side. Just be smarter. I th oh my god. I should have thought about that. Thank you. Point out that obvious, obvious solution. I should have. See, this is, what I, this is why I need you guys. You know what? We could embed a hopper minecart or two into the ice way. And then. It's like we, we bring the ice way along here. We embed hopper minecarts into these blocks. So that there's hoppers underneath them. And then we run this along like this and just run it straight into here or something. Can you put trapdoors on hoppers? You can. I mean, yeah. Let's see if we can dump in the experience. Maybe it would probably have to be at this layer though, wouldn't it? It's kind of ugly. But, uh, I guess it's buried, isn't it? We're gonna be blocking this entrance, but I guess that's fine. Either that or we like bring it all the way across and we dump in the experience right here. Oh, uh, you know what? That would give us ample time to have Hopper minecarts are in here, though, wasn't it? Not that you would want them along there. Get out of here, squid! Uh, not that you would want them along those areas. But yeah, we could have, like, two, maybe three hopper minecarts right underneath them right here. And then that would do it. Uh, so let's go down there and put in some, some hoppers. We're gonna need more hoppers. That'll be the item input. Uh, and then for the squid farms and stuff, we're gonna just going to have to keep dumping items into this bubble column, probably. No, we're not going to use any uh, skulk. We want to actually have the experience be delivered to the player because we're going to be AFKing right here and here. So this is the AFK spot, right? So underneath us is the zombie pigman farm. 
We should probably kill all those guys. And then right above us is the drown farm. So we're getting experience from those two sources, right? We're getting a little bit of XP to the bar. And then from the double mob farms, these things actually give you quite a bit of experience. So we're going to be getting the items and experience going all the way along, up and over. The items will be sorted out right there. And then the experience will be piped directly underneath the player and just kind of go up to it underneath the blocks. Uh, sorry if that wasn't clear before, but yeah, that's the general idea of stuff that we're doing. And it should work out pretty well, I think. Out pretty well. Yeah, Skulk comes with a lot of problems, like you know, conversion and then you know, blocks everywhere and you know, just issues. It's kind of fun, but a lot of problems come with Skulk. We are running out of glass here. Oh, yeah, then we gotta go drain all these, like, pathways and stuff. Well, it's a good thing you uh, don't have any, then, isn't it? So. <laughs> uh, do we need a roof on top of this, too? I think we do. We should probably fill in some more deep slate just around the, the vicinity here. Just to hide some of this, because this is kind of ugly. Not gonna lie, it's kind of bad. It's not the greatest. Okay, uh, but that is the extent of that whole, you know, water stream. A bit, a bit silly, but it should work out. It's not my finest redstone, but. It's not even redstone, so ha, huh, it doesn't even count. And then we need to do that on the other side, too. Oh, we also need more hoppers and all that. Oh, yeah, also, the zombie pigman farm is currently dropping just items straight down because it's got a dropper on it. Uh, so we need to reroute that. Luckily, that hopper stream, this layer of hoppers is right at the correct layer. It's like the exact layer that we need it to be. So we could just take a hopper line and just like pump it, pump it out. That could be fine. It's going to come with a lot of swords. Yeah, so I guess we just let those go the overflow. And then the drown farm is also up here as well. So the drown farm is going to be pumping items, probably using a dropper. They're all going to fall down like into here. And then go into this hopper line as well. So maybe we'll have like two hoppers in there. And then we'll split it to the left and to the right. That could be that could be acceptable. Uh, can we break in here? Oh, we're swimming. Okay, that makes it easier. Ah, get in there. Thank you. So yeah, we can just take it out of here. make it a bit quieter too that's not where i wanted you but okay where'd my pickaxe go jeez come on now lots of hoppers many many lag it'll be great yeah so i have one hopper line going to the left there one going to the right and then it should all be good easy peasy i picked up the flesh not the observer thank you game and then i don't know what to do with all the swords we'll just throw them away <laughs> <laughs> sounds simple enough doesn't it uh that trident goes to the zombie pigman grinder but that's not an issue right now we will sort that out at some other time i'll just leave that trident in there so i know where it goes it's just a reminder trident that's all it is i don't know where my redstone box is here it is I 
one random dropper. Right, that was from the Trinic Killer that we just broke. So yeah, we gotta get more glass and more more items. Then we gotta set up these actual item filters, and there's kind of a lot of stuff to do. Oh, and then we gotta build up the Shulker Farms and a Kill Chamber in the Nether for the Phantoms. But otherwise, this area's coming along pretty well. Oh yeah, and then we gotta go get some Allays and build up a... Uh, a lay item sorter and another storage system over at the raid farm is it gonna turn on rtx there we go that took long enough didn't it jeez it's not very nice looking is it i mean it's kind of moody it's kind of a mood there's no reflections though there's no way to trap the wither without using bedrock pretty much be really tr kind of tricky and use barrier blocks. Oh, uh, we got Cloudy and Ian along with Sand. Thank you for, or Sund. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Did we already do the shark farm? We haven't. We need to. Here we go. Now this is a mood. RTX in the rain with a little bit of sunset and a little bit of moonset. Absolute mood. We got the super moodiness with the glows. It actually looks pretty solid, doesn't it? It's not too shabby. Like RTX is good when it works. But when it doesn't work, it's kind of the worst thing ever. And it doesn't work most of the time. <laughs> but you know what? That's pretty solid. portal blocks yeah technically in portal blocks do function uh now we can also send your weather to the end if you have a lit oh we're about to lose the uh the rain yeah look how nice it is i really love the sky box like the stars and stuff that looks so much nicer than vanilla like vanilla is just kind of boring honestly but then this it just looks so much nicer the sunset, the sunrise, it just looks way better than vanilla. I mean, that's like fine, I guess. But this, I mean, come on. All right, I need to get a thumbnail. I should probably do that right now. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Anyway, that's about going to do it for tonight's live stream, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you've had a great time hanging out with me in the stream tonight. We are going to end by rating someone, as we always do. And if you haven't, then make sure you check out the links there in the chat. Go subscribe on YouTube. I'll have a new video out tomorrow with exciting new things that you'll want to see. And... Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and TikTok and join our Discord server and go say hi to our new staff members and all that loveliness. We're going to end by raiding. Ooh, we got options tonight. We got Cub Fan, iJevin, and Joe Hill streaming. Ooh, exciting. Who do you guys want to go raid? Nobody's ever streaming when we're when we're done. We have like nobody to choose from usually. Give me options. Who do you want to raid? Who do you want to raid? I swear no one streams at this time of night. DC was streaming? I think he starts in like 20 minutes. He starts on the hour, doesn't he? I'm not sure. We got we got options. Okay, I'm gonna pick one. Any mini mini mo. We're gonna go check out Cup Fan. You know what? I think they're all playing they're probably all doing a group thing right now. That might be what it is. <laughs> it might not matter who we raid. <laughs> Because I think they're playing the new uh, the new Hermit game that uh, Beef made. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys over there. And then the next one, have yourselves a great night. I love your faces. And then there was